Hey guys, I'm sure you've heard this. There is no replacement for displacement. But is that true when you're towing? And today we're gonna to do a really interesting and really fun video because we have two Fords. One, the Ranger, has a small four-cylinder turbocharged engine. The other, the Raptor, has a big old V8 that is supercharged. What we're gonna find out is which of these uses less fuel when towing. Check out our new trailer. Yes, it's a big Tex. Yeah, we got a big Tex trailer, uh, and this is the first time we're gonna use it. Ooh, no, no, go back, go back. Maybe it wasn't down all the way. Keep going. We need a slightly different solution. Or maybe we bought the wrong trailer, Roman. I'm really excited because uh, we got this new mega ramp set up back here, Andre. Yeah. Where we don't have to pull out the ramps anymore. We just fold them down. How yeah. nice is that? The nice thing is too, because it covers the whole back end of the trailer, you can't like drive off a ramp. Well, I can, but you probably can. Well, yeah, and then you could also have two positions on this uh, ramp. So you could have this, and then you could also have them like this while in transit. So if you have something longer, you could still have that. All right, let me roll up on the uh, on the trailer with uh, Stubby. I still can't believe you put uh, you put on these stickers, Andre. Or is that Nathan? That was Nathan. Uh. Ooh, no, no, go, go back, go back. Uh, the approach angle is not good. We hit the chin and we're, we're starting to hit the bumper. So we hit the chin and then, okay, no damage. It was just right here on the chin. Uh, so we, uh, we need a slightly different solution. So we need to raise the trailer a little bit. Dude, if we can't get a truck on this trailer, how are we going to get a car on it? Oh, we're not putting a car on this. No? Well, we could get a Jeep well this on is it. for our heavier stuff. All right, all right, all right. So let's see if that works. Okay, come up. Uh, driver, come up. Come up. A little more. Keep going. Stop. Is it gonna fold? Are they gonna fold up? I need to lower the tongue first. Or maybe we bought the wrong trailer, Roman. I think it's too short. Well, it's an 18 foot deck like our older trailer. But we can do this. We can move, we could put the truck on the back of the, um, the ramps. If Check it out. This is a, oh yeah, look. It's not gonna do it, Andre. Oh, like this. Oh. So we can leave the ramps like this. And that should work. Now we got to tie it down though. I think you can go from there to the hitch. Yeah. But how do we tie it on the front? We, we can come by, what, in about an hour and uh, swap trailers. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, well, let's do that. All right, so um, change of plan. We are going to do this video, but unfortunately not today. Sounds we good. Out All right, our new thank trailer you. Is just okay. too short. Let me show you the okay, problem. Uh, the problem is that we have a 15 foot trailer with like a four foot addition, but as we found out with the four foot addition, the dovetail. Yeah, we can't, we can't use it because look what happens. It's, yeah. It gets stuck right there. And we, we, we tried moving the truck forward a little bit. Yeah, it won't help. And the problem with moving the truck forward, why don't you show them what the problem there is, Andre? The spare tire mount is, at first I thought it was great, right? Yeah. We need the spare. Yeah. But it, it's preventing uh, the vehicle to move over this ledge. So we can't move it far enough forward so we can fold it down so we can use the additional four feet at the back. So yeah, we can of course take this off, Yeah. but we still need the spare tire. And then you're driving around with the spare tire in your truck, uh, which is not yeah, a good idea. Yeah. And I don't want to keep removing it and moving no, it no, all the time. No, no, that's So the, uh, we paid about 8300 for this. We're going to get uh, the tilt trailer now, Andre. So this is what you wanted. Yeah, which is, which is fine. I know you're not a huge fan of tilts. Well, we'll get a tilt trailer. Uh, and uh, well, is it longer? 
It's 20 footer. Okay. So this is technically an 18. Yeah. So 15 plus three. Yep. And that's a full 20. And I think it should allow more vehicles because it should be ha should have a nicer approach All angle right. as well. Well, let's uh, let's take a ride over to the dealership and let's go exchange trailers. What okay. do you say? Okay. All right. All right, so we got the uh, stubby off of it, and we're gonna go and swap trailers. Hi ho, it's off the trailer dealership we go. Yeah, that was a bummer, huh? Uh, well, so our previous Iron Bowl was also 18 foot deck. Right. 16 foot with a two foot dovetail. Yeah. And this is just very similar, except the dovetail is a, little, a foot longer and different ramp system. Yeah, but the problem but it's is it's not you, working. You can't put those ramps down, and you can't and move, move backwards. And move backwards, uh, yeah. so you're really only stuck with a 15 foot trailer, in essence. Yeah. So it's great for a skid steer. Yeah. yeah. But not great for a lot of other vehicles. Yeah, I think it's like a utility trailer, you know, for farm equipment, maybe a tractor, right? But if you want to put a car on it, now my biggest worry about the tilt trailers is yeah. those fenders come up pretty high in them. Well, do you want to pull it up on their website? Should we take a look? Um, let's just take a look when we get there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we don't have other yeah. options. Yeah, but those fenders go up pretty high, so when you drive on it, you may not be able to open the doors. At least uh, not, uh, not in a car. In a truck, was... you'll be able to open the door. Okay. So just think about that when we look at it, okay? Yeah. But, you know, they don't have to exchange these. I mean, we bought it, and, you know, I signed a piece of paper that said, once I go off the dealership, it's mine. Yeah. So they're being very nice to letting us... Uh, Actually swap it out. Actually swap it out so that we can use it. I mean, we could use this one with a Jeep, I suppose. And a skid could, steer. We could use it with a skid steer, but then if we want to put more trucks on it, it's probably not going to work. Gotcha. No, I agree. Yeah. They're actually being nice. Yeah, so they're being really nice. So, uh, you know, it's a pain in the ass because they're a, a, an hour away from our offices and we have to go and swap out trailers. But I'd rather have a trailer that, that has multiple uses than one that than a couple can, uses. Than a couple uses, yeah. And the other problem is... Uh, Quite, that, that ramp is too steep, mm -hmm. so you can't really, like, if the truck could barely pull on it, what's going to happen when you try to pull on, like, the Corvette? No, no you're not doing the Corvette. Well, you could do it, but you're not going to have a front end <laughs> when you're done with it. But face it, Stubby has a low front end. You know, Stubby is a Stubby, work truck. It does, but still, it's, you know, it's like, there's like that much ground clearance. Yeah. The Corvette's like that much. Yeah. All right, well, let's go check out the tilt trailer uh, and see if that works for us. All right, Andre, this has been quite the bouncy ride. What the hell's going on? I think this trailer, it might be a little bit rear heavy. Yeah. So it's swaying at highway speed a little because it's empty. Yeah. And also it's bouncing the, the Ranger. Yeah, so when we bought the trailer, we had the Raptor. Yeah. Uh, this is, once again, one of those like uh, moments where it's always better to have the bigger truck <laughs> than, the small, than the smaller truck. How was the ride in the Raptor with this? It was fine. I didn't even know it was just, back there. Just normal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got a mm. lot more. You got a lot more truck. <laughs> yeah. How much is the Raptor weigh? It's like what six thousand. Six thousand. This weighs about forty five hundred pounds. Yeah. So that's a big yeah. difference. Yeah. Plus, yeah. we're pretty tight in here. <laughs> we're friendly. We're friendly. Yeah. yeah. We're two, two big guys. I don't think we're hitting payload yet, but <laughs> but we're close to it. We're certainly no, hitting. no. It does look good with the uh, with the new uh, stickers on it. Oh, I love I, yeah. I love the way the Ranger looks. Yeah, it's a good solid truck, but once again, you're you're better off to go one size bigger than one size smaller, right? You never want to go add capacity, even though we're nowhere near capacity, right? Because this thing can tow 7,500. Right. So here's the question, Andre. All right, the video we were gonna do, right? Right. Was gonna find out like if a bigger displacement engine gets better fuel economy than a smaller displacement engine towing the same load. Yes. And I think um, we can kind of take a guess at it. And we'll do that video. So we'll still do that once so we have the to right be continued. trailer. To be continued, for yeah. sure. But let's talk about, this is your exit over here, Parker Road. Let's talk about um, what we know. So when you did the Raptor on the Ike, what kind of fuel economy did it get? So the overall was uh, just under 8 MPG towing at the, at the Raptor's maximum. Okay. And when you, um, and it gets like 12 and a half. Um, in normal driving. In normal driving, yeah. yeah. And when you 
went and picked up, uh, what did you pick up with Brendan? It's a Suburban. When you picked up the Suburban oh, in Oh, GMC this, Yukon XL. XL, yeah. and you drove it back from Nebraska. What kind of fuel economy did you get in this? It was also about similar. It was about eight. So surprisingly, it might be much closer than people think. All right, Angie, let me introduce you to Angie here. Angie helped us buy nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. the trailer. Unfortunately, it was our fault. It was a little too It was short. a little short, yeah. So show us what else we could get. I have a 14 FT. It's a full tilt, big tex. Um, it's going to have the same axle size, so it's a 14,000 pound GBW. OK. Um, we just brought the price down on these, so it's really not that big of a difference from the other trailer. OK. But you'll get a lot more use out of it. So what is the price difference then? Um, so this one is eight thousand nine hundred and ninety-five. Okay. And then plus tax, so it's not going to be too far off from the trailer that you guys did purchase. Um, I'm not sure if it's this one or one of my other ones, but it's just like this trailer. So you have your lock on the side here, and then you're just going to pull that back. Spring can be a little tight sometimes. Okay. Open that up. It's so gravity now it's tilt. Free. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how that works. So it'll go down slow, and that's the hydraulic that helps it do that. And you have the knife edge. It is 83 inches in between the fenders, but it's 66 inches for the deck platform. Okay. That's still gonna work for you guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, if we really had to, we could uh, take these off temporarily yes. while, while loading, right? Yes, those are removable fenders. Okay. And it still has the same mount on the spare as the other guy. It does, so we could just swap that over. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that could work. That I think that works nice. Sealed tuned 516s. Uh, That's correct. Pitch, Adjustable coupler. Adjustable coupler, all that stuff. You know, I also like that you have these um, kind of oh, spring the loaded, the zip, the mm -hmm. zip um, breakaway cable, which is yeah. nice. Really it's a handy. lot nicer than the other one that you have to tie a loop in. Yeah. Well, sweet. And this jack is still about, what, 12? It's a 12K rated 12K, jack. yeah. Okay, what are we checking out here? So check out the, the mechanism. So there's kind of a spring-loaded yep. latch. Yep. You pull back on it. Then, and now the deck is free to move. Okay. So, so really... So this is basically the deck, and I think the approach is much nicer. You know, so you have kind of a low profile. Um, if this becomes an issue, you know, there's only two bolts, so we can temporarily remove it and then put it back on. Okay. But I think I'm not too worried by that. Okay. All right. If you're not too worried, then let's do it. Let's do it. Well, we've done a lot of things at TFL Truck, but owning a trailer for less than one day, I think that's the quickest <laughs> trailer turnaround we've ever had. But hey, we wanted to get something that's a little bit more useful. Look at my camera. This, this is a little bit bigger than a postage stamp uh, and about the same size as a credit card. All right, well, that was pretty painless, Andre. Pretty quick, actually. Yeah, yeah, so that was nice to trade us uh, trailers. So uh, this one's heavier. Yeah, uh, this uh, curb weight on this trailer is about, what, 3,400 pounds, maybe a little bit more? 34.95, they said. Ooh, so it does weigh, what, six or 700 pounds more than the other one? Yep, and then um, we spent about $600 upgrading. So it's a dollar per pound. Yeah, <laughs> dollar per pound, that's right. <laughs> But, yeah. it's, but it seems to be a little bit better balanced. Let's find out how it does when we get on the highway here. Yeah, so a couple things. When it's empty, right, the other trailer had those big ramps on the back. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't. And this one weighs more because the mechanism for the tilt, right, weighs a little bit more. There's just a little bit more metal there. So it does weigh more. And in terms of capacity, it's both 
both are identical, right? Both have 7,000 pound dual axles. Uh -huh. So that gives you 14,000 pounds. Of total of total weight. But you gotta subtract the weight of the trailer. So in this case, it's what? Um, Three, it's gonna be- 3,500. So 10,000 pounds. So 10,500 pounds, which yeah. is still a lot of weight that can carry. Yeah, that's a lot of weight. That's, it, you, we can carry a Hummer. You could carry the Hummer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure the Hummer would fit, but you could carry the Hummer. <laughs> All right, I'm accelerating. It feels a little bit less bouncy. It does, I would agree. All right, so uh, this became kind of a we screwed up video. Yeah. But I still want to do the video where we find out which one actually is better at towing in terms of fuel economy, the Ranger or the Raptor. So I, I say to be continued. Yeah, and so that's next week, right? How about a week from now, uh, we can do that video. Yeah, come on back and we'll have that done and you can see. Uh, and what's your money on, Andre? Raptor or Ranger? Well, you know, I was going to say Raptor because I know V8 engines are great at towing, yeah. but it's supercharged. So, I, well, this is turbocharged. Yeah. I'm going to go with so no I, replacement for displacement. I'm going to say the Raptor is going to get better fuel economy, but I could be surprised. I'm going to say the Ranger. I'm, I'm putting my money on the, on the Ranger. All right. There you have it, guys. Remember, alltfl.com if you want to see all of our towing tests along with all of our car news, views, and reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.